Hi everyone, it's Chappies Crypto here again uh, with another trade review of my session. Um, actually this evening, it's about 10.34 on Tuesday evening, the 27th of July in Australia. Um, I've just finished uh, my trading session. I'm going to hold out and watch, wait for the US Open, then I'll probably paper trade some micro ES futures tonight because I've had a good session. I'm pretty happy with the results so far, so it's nice to get back to winning ways. 5.5% uh, return for this session, which is one of the best sessions I've had in quite some time. So pretty happy with that. Uh, made up for the last couple of days of losses. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick, I only took three trades. I started trading or I looked at the charts at about 7.30. Had a look through, um, saw what would look like a nice setup on ADA. Um, so this is Go Charting if you're not familiar with it. Uh, the link to this uh, layout, if you would like to use Go Charting and you like the look of my four chart layout is, um, is will be in the description down the bottom um, so I just want to point out one other thing as well if you want to learn the points of these videos is not to teach you how to trade it's a, to teach you how to use the tools that I'm using with my trading um, I've, I've been learning how to trade through uh, these guys the tradevets.com uh, it's a great website and they've got a great course called the TPO bootcamp highly recommended I did it a couple of weeks ago and I'm continuing on my learning journey and the other thing that's worth pointing out as well is click on this link here go to the discord join the discord it's free to join and there's a great community of traders in there that are helping each other out. So if you can actually see on the charts at the moment, I've just st stopped trading this recently, but we've just had this really nice dip and we've had this nice great breakout, which is actually still continuing. I've, I've exited the trade. Um, however, if, if you're still in the trade, I know there's a few guys that I trade with at the moment are still in there and they're hopefully reaping some nice rewards currently. So let's have a quick look at this. One of the things that you'll notice on Go Charting is you'll see on my top left hand corner, you'll see how I've got all these indicators showing on this particular chart and these ones are not. Uh, the way to turn that on and off, it's quite simple. It's just a matter of clicking this uh, magnifying glass at the top here and that will actually hide all those indicators. And it's another quick way of turning things on and off. So if you want the volume bars, for instance, showing, um, all you need to do is you can actually just click on that little area there to hide them. Um, and just and hide that whole lot. The other thing that's quite a handy tool, and if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that on Go Charting, if you actually click on this little arrow down here, it'll disclose the layers and the settings for your charts. So if you go into full screen mode, <coughs> excuse me, on the ADA chart here, if I click on the left bottom corner, I can key into my settings. Uh, one of the things that I often will do is I'll hide my market profile uh, just by clicking on this little eyeball button here. Um, and it'll disclose it or 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 show it or hide it. Um, now that's that's easy. That's fine to do it this way. But there's actually an even quicker way to do that. Um, just up the top left hand corner, you click on this to disclose all of the different layers, and you can just turn off the layers this way as well, just by pressing the eyeball, and it'll hide the VWAP. You can hide the market profile. You can hide the clusters. Uh, which is the footprint it's actually referred to as in here. Um, anyway, just a little tool I think people might find interesting. So let's get to my three trades that I've done. As I said, this this is this video is about me reviewing my trade so I can learn from what I've been doing and hopefully reflect on how to do a better trade next time around. Um, so I took a ADA long at about 7.39 Australian time. So if you look at the chart here, uh, 7 o'clock and this is 7.30. So when I was looking at the structure, um, and if we scroll out a little bit, you'll actually see this chart I'm looking at at the moment is actually what's referred to as the market profile. I'm showing the TPO letters or the TPO. So this this here is a structure. Um, if you go along and do the TPO bootcamp course, you'll get an understanding of what these starting to mean. Um, but what I was interested in is we'd come down here, we've had some value matching up with this area here. And so price is going to be possibly drawn up to this area if it if it breaks out to this side uh, it won't won't it may spend some time to fill this area here um, so for me I was I was long biased I assumed that we may be going that direction um, we had a nice little dip down here and so I was actually looking at a point where it would make sense to have a good entry here um, so I, this first trade I did was a quite a quick trade. Um, I hadn't intended to trade for too long because I was planning to get some sleep and then wake up in time for the US Open, but this, this setup just looked too good. So I had to take the trade initially. So at 7.39, which was at about this point here, um, I took this trade. So I actually had my entry point about here. Um, and I was interested in this level here. So I was quite interested to see if the price was going to come up above there. So my entry was here and I had my stop loss here. Now that for me, 
it's not a great risk to reward ratio i wasn't overly comfortable so if i'm entering here and my first target's only going to be this point not a not a fantastic setup so i wasn't overly confident and what actually happened with this trade it came and it started to come back down here and to be brutally honest with you i cut that trade fairly quickly because i was a bit worried we might break back down in here and start performing some more structure um so i cut that trade still had a very tiny tiny win on that first trade it was only three dollar win um but hey it's nice to bank a win um so I just kept my eye on the chart because it was kind of interesting just because the price did actually retrace it wicked down here and then it came out and closed and then it started to move upwards and it just th this setup looked really interesting it's if you do the tpi boot camp um, there's a particular setup that, that brad will cover on on what's actually happening here but i really felt like if we break this level here we're going to be in for some pretty interesting um, price action because when you scroll back and have a look at the, the actual structure here and also the candles that, as it formed, we've got this fantastic amount of space here to, that's really attractive. Um, so for me, I actually really feel like we, we've probably got a good chance here of taking some of these if we break this level. Um, so I, what I did is I placed a conditional market order here. Um, I trade on Bybit and I used to place conditional limit orders. Um, where you have a trigger and a limit order price uh, with the price differential and I just found unfortunately too consistently the prices wouldn't necessarily get triggered and so I've moved all of my orders now when I place an order on buy bit I if I do a conditional order I'll place conditional orders but I'll get it to execute at market rate um, that way I can always be guaranteed that my order will get filled um, because when I do place an entry or when I do place an order I want the order to be filled out I'm confident that that's a point where I want to enter so for me I had my order um, entry price at on the ADA it was, this is a trade this is the last trade I actually did at $1.27 um, $1.27 uh, and 46 so it was around this level here and around 8 eight forty five roughly it actually entered so I was in the trade at this point now this was an interesting trade because it moved extremely slowly. It did this, it did this. So by this stage, we're, we're almost an hour into the trade and it was slowly just eating into these stops, uh, slowly eating into the stop. This was a nice movement here. And what I actually, I actively managed this trade. So as I hit here and as I said, it sat here for quite some time, I actually took some profits out at that point. Um, when it got up to this point here, I took some profits out again. Uh, when it got up to this point, I took some profits out again. Um, so I actually ended up taking three or four chunks out of this trade. It came up to this point, it stalled for a while, it retraced once or twice, and on this retracement here, um, I actually had moved my stop loss. Um, after I actually took out my first stop here, I actually moved my stop loss, which originally was set down here. Um, as soon as we hit that, I moved my stop up to this point, and it, was, it worked out really well, so I didn't have to worry about the stop again. Um, so yeah, as I said, I, I managed that trade quite well in my opinion. I, I, I could have probably made more money on the trade if I left the bulk of the transaction in. However, I wanted to make sure I was taking these these profit moments here for me. Um, that necessarily, not necessarily is somewhere that I would normally consider taking profits, but I was actually looking back at previous price action and, and the structure, nice thin area. So, you know, it's a nice target just here as a potential area that, you know, sure enough, that's a good place to take some profit. Uh, so that was my ADA trade. Um, that worked out really well and I've got I'll just review one other trade that I did which is an ethereum trade um, which was a trade the second trade I actually did for the evening I got into that one at 8 15 roughly and this was a textbook uh, breakout trade 101 which is why I've actually put in the um, thumbnail for this video breakout 101 um, it's just I was so happy with this trade it worked out just almost a textbook um, so when I was looking at this um, as I said, I, I hadn't planned to trade this late into the evening because I'd planned to get some sleep before the US Open. However, when I was scanned the charts before I went to sleep, I just saw the structure. Look at this. It's almost it's almost identical to the ADA setup. And interesting enough, when I'm scanning my charts, I have BTC, XRP, ETH, and ADA showing. And you'll notice on all four charts, we have exactly the same structure it formed. So for me, we had this amazing moment where you, to be brilliant honest, you could have taken a btc you could have taken an ada you could have taken an xrp and you could have taken these and you would have made money it wouldn't actually matter too much nice thing about this though ada actually went first i'm um, sorry actually i apologize i think eth went first and the ada followed and btc followed 
and XRP is actually leading the charge. Well, it's, it's doing really well at the moment. Um, so as I said, let's go back to that ETH trade. I got into this ETH trade at 8.15, um, which was around this point here, actually on this candle. Um, I had my target set, so as soon as we broke this area, I was looking to get into this trade. I uh, got into the trade at a nice point, so it was quite a conservative entry. I, I, you know, obviously waiting for it to break out of this structure. Broke out, got in, sat here for what felt like an eternity. Then I had a really nice breakout. So I was actually like the ADA trade, and I remember I'm managing both of these trades simultaneously. <clears throat> I was keeping my eye, particularly on this point here. And if we got to there, I was taking some off the table. So I did, at that point I took about 50% of my, my position off the table. And then that point there and this point here. Um, with this here, similar like the 88 came up here, retraced, and I ended up, I'd, I'd actually moved my stop up to this point and I actually take, took out my total position around here. Um, if you're still in the trade, obviously there's some single prints, what these are referred to as the single prints are right through to this area here. There's some single prints that eat up um, and it looks like it's going to continue on potentially. There's the single prints, I should say. Well, actually, single prints off this candle. Um, so uh, as I said before, there's plenty of people still in this trade, but I'm pretty happy with that. A 5.5% return, um, great session for me. It's nice to be back into winning ways after three days of losses, um, and hopefully we'll have a run of wins now. So I hope you enjoyed that, that um, little review. I'll see some of you in the Discord shortly. Um, if not, I um, hope you're enjoying the videos. Look forward to seeing you part of the 1,000, 10,000K challenge. And until next time, it's bye for now.